Hi, I'm Holly Brooks. And I'm Eric King. And we are King Landscaping. We're here today to talk to you a little bit about edible gardening for your backyard. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> there is. We've got, uh, for winter anyway, a really wide variety of plants that you can use in your pots and in your garden spaces. And to me, I like a, a winter edible garden. I think it's prettier than a summer edible garden, although people romanticize about tomatoes and basil and caprese salad gardens. Caprese, is that how you say it? I thought it was like crazy. Are those the pants? <laughs> no, those are, all right, it doesn't matter. Anyway. So um, it is pretty, I agree. I think it's really pretty. And uh, the winter choices for flowers is uh, is pansies and- uh, And and pansies and pansies violas and, and, pansies. and pansies. Yeah. So you really get more variety. And that's what I hear my, my customers saying over and over again, is what in the world should I do with my, I'm so tired of pansies, I'm tired of having the same old thing in my seasonal color beds. Well, flip them, make them edible. You know, the, the only real battle you're gonna have would probably be rabbits. So we'll talk about how to combat that. But all of these things are edible. Yes, violas are edible and pansies are edible. And you can have them in your winter garden. Um, but then we've got, <laughs> we've got butterhead lettuce. We've got leaf lettuce, uh, shards and um, cabbages, parsley. All of these things are fantastic edible garden options and they make beautiful planters. Um, you can even mix in uh, rosemary or other herbs make great centerpieces as well. So um, what I like to do in an effort to kind of time things is, is go ahead and put in some starts that I can find at a nursery or maybe start my own seeds early in the season. So for example, with lettuce, I'll plant some leaf lettuce that's already up this time of year, October-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, but then at the same time, I'll seed some. And that way I have a succession of plants so that I can have uh, a fresh salad basically all winter long. Um, if you just cover them up and protect them from the real hard frost, then you should have a great, great season. So below maybe 20 degrees, would you say, cover them? Yeah, well, maybe maybe 20, mm -hmm. high 20s. I, I kind of cover mine like high 20s. Yeah, I've, I've gotten away with 20 degrees, but it's a little bit of a risk. But you throw a blanket on top and they're very happy. Well, and the other thing you can do is plant them, plant tender things like lettuce under hardier things, under your cabbage, under your broccoli. Um, and then you have a nice little cover, keeps the frost from falling on there and, um, and everything lives in harmony. So, um, so anyway, I like to mix a little bit into each pot. Uh, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of Swiss chard or cabbage, maybe throw in a pansy or, or a viola just to give a little pop of color and something blooming. Um, but then, you know, parsley makes a great centerpiece. I love these, these lettuce heads, they're beautiful. And so, um, so you can do containers or you can do your garden beds or you could flip and use your annual beds as a way to have these shown off. Looks great, but how will it really look? Well, we'll take you out to the garden and we'll show you some spots that were planted. Um, and as I said before, the things to do about rabbits, um, I like blood meal. Blood meal is a great thing to kind of scatter around the garden or the best one really is Irish spring soap because it smells as bad to the rabbits as it does to us. We just lost them as a sponsor. I'm just <laughs> saying, if you do that, that's all right. Take a cheese grater, grate a little Irish spring soap out in the garden. Rabbits and deer will not come. It's fantastic it's like a little force field and when you're done you can roll around in it and then you smell like Irish spring too exactly all right well I want to see this in action so show me something cool that you've done with this arrangement plethora of goodness all right <laughs> 